Hi everyone, welcome back to The Chosen One by Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for your support. Today's word is, God said, don't let no one control you. You have self-control. Say what you mean. This day and time, you got to tell people what you mean and mean what you say. You got to mean what you say. Don't say nothing if you ain't going to back it up. Preach what you mean. In 2 Timothy 1 and 7, it reads, God gave us a spirit, not of fear, but of power and love and self-control. We all have self-control. We got to know when to push people away. I'm just being honest. You got to know when to push people away. You got to guard. Listen to me, y'all. Y'all got to learn how to guard your, your feelings. You got to guard your heart. You can't allow anybody to be in your heart. You can't allow anybody to be in your heart. You got to learn how to talk to God and say, God, help me to control my feelings. Help me. God said, don't let no one control you. Have self-control. Say what you mean. Say what you mean. You ain't no coward because you speaking up. You ain't no coward because you telling it how it is. If they can't understand, they need to leave you alone. You got to have self-control everywhere you go. In your workplace, at home, when you're talking in meetings, you got to tell people what you mean. I can't work on service. I go to church on service. I can't work on Friday because my Sabbath coming in. You got to tell your job. You got to tell them. If they can't understand where you're coming from, then you can, maybe you just have to quit. You can't do things that God already told you what not to do. And you go behind God back and disobey him. That's why things in your life is falling apart because you're being disobedient. Have self-control. Have self-control. And stop allowing anybody to come in your heart and say what you mean and move forward. Because God... God know what he's doing. Have self-control. Sometimes God can be working on your patience. You got to learn. So a lot of us have to work on our patience. A lot of us. I had that problem too. I will learn. I will be learning how to read Bible verses on patience. And learn how to humble myself. It can be hard. But ask God for what you need. All you got to do is say, Lord, I need your help. And he help you. Ask God for what you need. Whatever you need, ask God for it. Stop being scared and talk to God. God, I need your help in this area. I need help to control myself. Lord, I need help to have patience. Whatever you need help with, talk to God. And he will help you. Control. Control. A lot of us need to control ourselves. And say what you mean. Say what you mean. Don't back down. Have some standards. Have standards. And if people can't understand, then that, listen, don't get to their level. You stay. You stay where you at. They can't meet where you at. That's it. Don't change your standards for nobody. Don't change your boundaries or nothing. Mean what you say. That's it. They can't understand. Close the door. You got self-control. You do. They can't, listen, they can't understand. That's it. Close the door. And mean what you say. You got to have standards. People can't understand. Okay. I got self-control. I told you what I said. And I mean what I said. Don't change your answer for nobody. Mean what you say. Let your yes be yes and your no be no. That's it. They can't get on board. Let lead them along. I love you all. Be encouraged. Don't give up. But pray about all things. Stay blessed and stay focused. Thank you again.